so I'm working on my bedroom still like I'm always working on my projects to some capacity and they whoa that was trippy they just take me a long time because I'm working on a budget and I also am working full-time and nannying two days a week for my nieces so these projects just take me a really long time hopefully I'll be able to show you a full one soon but I am going to show you a little bit. There's Baker. So this is kind of where I'm at with my bedroom right now. I split the wall with two colors of paint, added shelf, a little bit of new art up here. And then over here, added a higher shelf and this really cool accordion style lamp. I love this. I got it off of Amazon. It's linked below. It's just a fun way of having lighting, I feel like, in a space. I still need to find something for right here. I want to do a repurposed bookshelf or like a nightstand with some drawers. Here, I'm washing my sheets right now. So um, I'm going to build something right up in here for either books. I think it's going to be a shelving unit, like a long one. So it'll be books and then a place for me to put my jewelry and perfumes and stuff like that. And then I moved this little bench from the living room in here. I need to get this water stain off in here. So I need to refinish that. And then there's me. Uh, this mirror is huge, honestly, but it kind of works as like a full length mirror. So I need to move it up. And then these, oh, I love these. I got these at an estate sale and they're pictures of Paris which is my favorite city. And I just had these frames that I spray painted black and I got some cheap mats. And I love the way that they look when you walk into my room. Here's kind of a rundown. I still have a lot to do in here, I feel like. Like I need to paint the ceiling and fix the ceiling. But so far I'm really loving it. And now I'm adding some detail to the wall, which I'm gonna work on this morning. You never go up there anymore. I feel like that's your fall spot maybe because it's warmer up there <laughs> it's above my refrigerator so before I do anything else I need to eat and I have been making these oat waffle thingies with like chia and flaxseed I have to get them very crispy Sometimes I put a little protein powder in them, but I'm actually out of protein powder. So I'm gonna do some vegan butter and peanut butter. Have you ever had butter and peanut butter together? It's so good. So I also know that you are waiting on my results uh, from my scan and I'm gonna get to that I promise but I mean can you not relate I genuinely feel like that was me this morning well, it looks like I'll get to the office in time for my But I also want to tell you about something that I've been working on for the last like two weeks now. And I wrote a little ebook and it's called Compassion in Action, 25 Ways to Support Somebody Going Through Cancer. And it is officially available. This week only, there are two options that you can buy it. It's $9.99 and then there's also an option that you can download it as like a gifted option. Because originally when I started talking about this on social, I said that I was just creating a guide like a free guide but then I started doing it and <laughs> it's like 20 pages and I'm like this is more of an ebook and after talking with my mom I realized that I think my time and effort and energy and just experience has value behind it also it will help me 
be able to create more resources because I have so many ideas of just things that I want to put out there pertaining to the cancer world and how for cancer patients specifically and for support system because there is I think a huge disconnect in how we think we should show up for people. You'll learn more about that in this ebook. So it's that time of year with the heat's back on. But sorry, I like food in my teeth. But it just gets so hot down here and it's like a freaking furnace and I'm either in a constant state of freezing or just sweating like crazy. It's like dripping down my back right now. Um, so I'm gonna work on this wall. I'm adding, um, buddy, go lay down. So I'm adding like a checkered border. I just want my room to be really cozy and fun and I feel really called to like inspired by checkers right now. So I tried a stencil, but I should know better. Stencils don't work for me. This is totally upside in. Um, even when I try all of the little tricks that are out there, but you need to just go lay down, baby. I'm working on stuff. I love you too. Um, so I'm going to literally hand draw with um, painter's tape or create a different stencil. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Probably gonna take me forever but whatever um i think it's gonna be really really cute all right so i'm gonna seal the tape before i use the darker color this is the technique that never works with the stencil but you do this because you don't want it to bleed through So I know the moment you are all waiting for, what were the results of my scan? After my oncologist reviewed him, it turns out that that has always been there. They discovered in December and my doctor or my oncologist feels very strongly that it's just post-operative changes. So it could be scar tissue, you know, it could be other things, but it hasn't changed in size at all. So he feels very confident that it's nothing to worry about, but we're just going to continue monitoring it through scans. And I feel good about that because I guess it was on my scan from May too. I just missed it. But yeah, I feel good with that. Uh, the pain aspect after reading more about immunotherapy. So what I'm realizing the pain is, is joint pain. So I need to explore some other ways of managing that. I don't want to have to take Tylenol every single day. So I have my friend who is very into holistic nutrition and health and wellness researching some things for me, potentially take because I've also been using CBD lotion on all my joints. But the reason I think that it was hurting so much in my pelvis is because you have like your ball and socket joints down there with your hips so but i feel pretty good today i've been doing a lot of hot yoga and that seems to help a lot and i'm just going to continue taking it one day at a time i was very relieved to not have to stop life again basically because i have so many things in motion right now 
and can't remember if I talked about it here, but I'm gonna be slowly phasing out of markets for my art. I feel the winds changing and I am leaning into some other things that I'm more, I'm feeling more passionate about right now. I never really intended for markets to be a long-term plan for me. Uh, I think it was just something I wanted to do once I moved back to Seattle. I was doing them a little bit down in California, but I really dove into them once uh, the world kind of opened back up, or Seattle opened back up um, after the pandemic. And it was great for the time being, and it introduced me to so many people. And I met, I met so many amazing, wonderful friends through markets, but it's just really time consuming to do them. It's not really like my overall brand is just has so many different things and I would love to focus more on creating resources for people uh, in the cancer world. And then I have some bigger projects on the works and uh, my furniture flips. Um, so my artwork isn't something I'm not gonna create anymore, but I'm only gonna do custom work after the holidays maybe every now and then i'll do a market but I, it's not very likely because i've really enjoyed not doing them for the last two months i do have one this coming saturday so it'll be nice to see some friends but i'd rather just like go to markets and be a shopper and get back that time um, that i'm basically just sitting around waiting for people to come and chat and buy my art I'm excited. I feel really good. It's also really scary because, you know, markets have been a big part of my income. But I do have some bigger projects, like I said, in the works. And I'm excited. I'll tell you more about that when they're finalized. So I think some really great things are on the horizon. And also not doing markets allows me more time to uh, put out more videos, too. So hopefully that'll be on the forefront as well. I... I'm just gonna go work back on my bedroom for a while and then I'm going to my nephew's soccer game and come home and get a little bit work out in my shop done. all these frames that were my stepdad's and I figured I was just gonna repurpose them because I ordered a bunch of prints that I am going to put on this wall and um, probably in my bedroom too. I'm kind of like, I don't know, I feel like my style is evolving a little bit. I'm feeling really compelled to add more color and um, I love this room and I love vintage, but I want to add a little bit, I don't know, I guess my overall style is like eclectic. Also, I painted the cabinets this um, same hushed hue. Um, I was going to do this sage green, but I decided I'm just going to like, I wanted to keep this fun vintage countertop. Uh, after a lot more thought. It's just like so fun and funky. So I decided to paint them more not like a neutral color. So I'm gonna add hardware that's a lot like this on all of these. Really, really, really pushing to get this finished this week. <laughs> and maybe not the hardware. I also wanna add some trim to each of the fronts of the, um, the, cabinet doors uh, but that's gonna be a little pricey so that might be phase two of this project but things are coming along and then I will continue working on this <laughs> pantry makeover which is just like ridiculous right now it's just become like a dumping place things are coming along and I'm so excited and my decision to not do markets anymore kind of 
just it just frees up more time to do all of this and document it and put it out there and i am stoked so i think that's it i will see you next week and i hope you are all doing well if you haven't already make sure you follow along well if you want to you don't have to but i would love it if you would um and get your copy of my ebook let's change the conversation around cancer <laughs>